Hi guys, it's Steve here and in this video I am looking at the top five gadgets you can buy this Christmas 2014. Um, it's kind of my personal top five, so it's kind of stuff I want. So if you are watching this and you feel generous, then please buy the stuff that's in this video for me and I'll, you know, somehow get it through the internet. You know, if like me you have loads of people to buy stuff for this Christmas, then, you know, shopping is a massive ball lake. Um, I do like food shopping though, you know I like food so I like uh, shopping for food as well, I don't like clothes shopping, just trying stuff on is a bit sort of, you know, um, woofy. So anyway, for me personally I'll probably just end up getting a load of crap from Poundland, you know, Poundland chocolates, socks, and maybe some DVDs, uh, but I'll probably just end up with VHS <coughs> copies of copies, of copies, of copies. Here's kind of a, a top five of kind of gadget stuff that I want. So number one is wearable tech, wearable tech. Um, so we're talking smartwatches. This is not a smartwatch, this is an old school smartwatch. It's quite a nice watch, uh, the battery's gone dead. Um, but I can't be bothered to change the battery, so I use it um, as a fashion piece. If someone wants to know the time, it is slightly embarrassing um, when I just say it doesn't actually work. Um, or I pretend the battery's just gone dead. So I recently bought a Sony smartwatch free. Um, I didn't actually do any research before buying it. I was just sort of slobbing out on my iPad when I was watching TV and just randomly bought something off Amazon. Got the watch and realized you needed Android smart gear, gear free something from the Android shop, Google shop, something. Um, it basically didn't work. Uh, you need to pair it up with, an, with another phone. So whether there are any smart watches out there that don't need another device to work with, to work, to actually work, you know, you can just buy a smart watch and it works. It tells you the time. Another wearable um, tech is Google Glass, of course. That costs about a thousand pounds. I've not actually used them myself. Um, these are just um, police glasses which have a zero um, tech latency to them uh, they they show you uh, real life you don't have to spend a grand on these smart glasses they have augmented reality which means it kind of uses a front camera to show you it sort of puts graphics over what you're seeing in real time um, there are there are glasses you can buy for 500, like the Epson Nuveria BT200. So these give you the ability to watch a movie that covers your peripheral, your field of vision. And so it's like watching a film at an IMAX, I would imagine. But it only has eight gigabytes of memory inside. So whether you can fit a you know a full 4K. Uh, movie on that um, I don't know you can put up to 32 gig in as an SD card inside the glasses as well and it also lets you wear optical lenses as well but if you just want to watch a, a massive sort of movie on your retinas then um, you could try the Vuzix 1200DX pocket cinema glasses and um, you also have the Sony uh, HMZ TW 3D viewer um, that also uh, hooks up I think to a Blu-ray player or PS3 so number two is EE's It's Everything uh, pay as you go buzzard it's uh, it comes with two gigabytes or four or six gigabytes of 4G data and what you do it's shaped like a, a cup so you can just put it in a cup holder you stick a cigarette lighter adapter a USB adapter thing in there or dongle or something and then it basically turns your car into a Wi-Fi hotspot so it can have you can have up to 10 devices using its Wi-Fi and it automatically switches to 3G so if you lose 4G you've got 3G but then again when I've traveled I've often lost 3G it's something that I would want because I use you know the internet a lot on travel so I travel a lot to London so number three is the Amazon Echo. This is for our American friends across the pond. Um, so what is it? 
Well, you may have been wondering as to when Skynet really starts to become self-aware and decide to end humanity. Well, I think they may have just decided to nuke us all um, after they use the Amazon Echo device. Yes, machines are now always on um, and able to hear you, so hopefully you won't end up um, with a bad unit that asks. Hi, Steve. Do you like scary movies? No, Alexa or future John Con Connor murdering arsehole. So Amazon Echo, 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 Echo. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder um, here. It's just that I'm just so gorgeous. It's, uh, with the Amazon Echo, it's essentially a Siri knockoff. Um, it's a big black tube, a bit like the Mac Pro, but obviously much cheaper, about £12,000 cheaper. So this features far field voice recognition. So if you're in a field far, far away, Siri, sorry, Alexa can tell you when Thanksgiving is and whether it is raining. Although if you are in a field, you can pretty much ascertain as to whether or not it's actually raining or not. Sometimes Echo helps out when you least expect it. Uh, hey, Dad, how do you spell cancel? Uh... Cantaloupe. C A N T. Alexa, how do you spell cantaloupe? Cantaloupe is spelled C A N T A L O U P E. Good job. So, if you need something to physically save you from pressing play on a music track, then this device is for you. Also, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you can get this for $100 cheaper than the normal price for everyone else. Number four is the GoPro Hero 4. As someone who does a lot of filming, well, I've used the GoPro before. It's quite a handy device to have. It's quite a you know, small, portable, throwable thing you can use. So 4K is certainly the next big thing. We are starting to see it become more mainstream with cheaper prices to match. So if you have a 4K TV or monitor, then it might be worth getting this. So number five is PS4. Bit obvious, bit sort of, you know, didn't really take me long to think about this one. I still use the PS3, so, but I have about 400 games on PS Plus and games that I need to buy as well. So it might be a couple of years before I get the PS4. Don't know yet, I might just buy it now. I might also wait until it has 4K support, possibly with the slim model, which will be released maybe Christmas next year or um, 2016. So one of the main reasons I want a PS4 is because they've got the new GTA 5 out and also a few other games I haven't played on PS3 that are also on PS4 and like The Last of Us, Destiny and Far Cry 4 as well which are amazing games that are out now for the PS4 and also come in in great bundles as well. You can pick up a PS4 with Far Cry 4 or GTA 5 with the Last of Us remastered for I think about 350 off game, 350 off Amazon, but without The Last of Us. There's also a few bundles cheaper than the standard 350. These include Destiny for 340. So that's it from me, Steve here, Unbox Fresh. I'm um, getting really, really festive right now. Um, too festive. So I've got my red top on, it's Christmas, it's festive, I'm having a great time here, um, mince pie is not in this hand.